If you are preparing for a career in data analytics, you need to hear this. Because in 2025, things are not the same anymore. Thousands of job seekers are getting ghosted. Job listings are disappearing. And AI tools are doing in seconds what entry-level analysts used to work on for days. If you are someone who's spending months learning SQL, Tableau and Excel without understanding what's really going on, you might be wasting your time. Wait, what? So let's face it, is data analytics dying in 2025? Are we just too late to see the shift coming? Hi, my name is Amlan and I've spoken to multiple job seekers, data professionals and hiring managers. And what I've learned is seriously alarming. In this video, let's talk about what's really happening in 2025 and what it means for your future. Stay with me because what I'm about to share might save your entire career. Are you ready? Let's look at the facts. If you go on job boards today, you'll notice something. The term data analyst is slowly being replaced by titles like analytics engineer, product analyst or data strategist. Companies want more than someone who knows Excel or SQL. They want people who can tell a story with data, work cross-functionally and think like a business leader. At the same time, tools like ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot are doing the work that used to take hours. Cleaning data, writing basic SQL or creating simple charts, those are slowly being automated. So no, data analytics isn't dead, but the version of it that existed in 2019 is. Now here's where most people are struggling. New graduates are applying to hundreds of analyst roles and not hearing back. Mid-level professionals are seeing layoffs or their careers hit a plateau. And the job descriptions, they are insane. They want skills like SQL, Python, Power BI, Tableau and even cloud knowledge all in one person. That's not fair. So yes, the fear is real. It's frustrating. It's overwhelming. But instead of panicking, we need to pivot. Here's what you need to do if you want to survive and grow as a data professional in 2025. Number one, don't just learn tools, learn how to solve problems. Let me say it clearly. If all you do is build simple dashboards and send them off without knowing what they actually mean for the business, you are very replaceable. Think about it. AI can generate charts these days. BI tools have drag and drop features. But can they ask? Why did sales drop last quarter or which customer segment is silently churning? You need to be the person who understands the business, asks the right questions and delivers insight that actually change something. You need to move from just being a data presenter to a data problem solver. Because at the end of the day, no manager cares about how pretty your graphs are. They care about decisions and outcomes. If you can't tie your analysis to a real world action, you're not adding any real value. Number two, learn to work with AI, not against it. AI isn't coming for your job, but someone who knows how to use AI better than you might. You don't need to become an AI engineer, but you need to become the analyst who knows how to automate boring tasks, ask ChatGPT the right questions and get to insights faster using these AI tools. Here's a mindset shift. Stop thinking of AI as your competition. Think of it as your assistant. Use ChatGPT to accelerate your work, automate reports and write better queries. Be the analyst who leverages AI, not the one who's replaced by it. Number three, master the art of data storytelling. Learn how to communicate insights, not just present charts and analysis. Storytelling with data is a superpower most analysts never develop. You can have the best data, the cleanest model, the sharpest insights. But if you can't communicate it clearly, persuasively and in a way that drives action, it doesn't matter at all. Think about how top leaders speak. They don't throw numbers at you. They tell a story. Every dashboard, every report, every presentation should all follow that same flow. Build a narrative, add visuals and focus on clarity. Number four, understand the business. If you can translate data into business impact, you instantly become more valuable than any AI tool. The analysts that stand out in 2025 are not the ones with the most technical skills. They're the ones who understand business problems. What keeps your manager up at night? What metric actually matters to your CEO? Once you align your analysis with what the business truly cares about, your value multiplies. 
you become the analyst who doesn't just deliver data but drives real decisions. So, is data analytics dying in 2025? No, but the old version of it is. The future belongs to analysts who understand the business, think critically and evolve fast. This field is moving really fast. The skill set that got you a job 2 years ago might not be enough today. So keep learning, keep building and stay ahead of the curve. If you are ready to go beyond the basics to adapt and grow, this is still one of the most powerful careers out there. This channel exists to help you do that. If this video helped you understand what's really going on, hit that like button so more people can find it. I create honest content around data careers and analytics every week, so make sure you subscribe. Let me know in the comments what's been the biggest struggle for you as a data professional. See you in the next one.